Sermon 122 of Nacho Blaga is also one encouraging people to fight. And this is related to the 12th of the 7th month of the 36th year. And it was such a time that Ollie was pointing out, you know, if you take my side, I will make my judgments according to the Quran and Sunnah. And so a lot of these sayings about, you know, bringing evidence is directly upon that issue that Uthman had been murdered and Ali was saying, you know, bring some evidences about this and we'll deal with that accordingly. So, this sermon reminds us of the order of the battle, that the people who are armored or have other means of equipment for the battle, that they should be put in the position to more or less guard those who don't. So, rather than plowing through weakness on the way to strength, strength um, enables those who are weaker to, you know, not bear the brunt of it and, of course, survive and go off and do their thing more. And the people should not be so much of a, of a holler, I guess, is the idea. Is that they hold up their banners, but they're not just chattering and shouting away at the battle. You know, because that, that's often part of the thing, is the drumming and the yelling and all that stuff. It's like they should focus on the fight. Now, you can use that to signal and other stuff, but and the people who hold the banners should be those who would, you know, hold up the banners of your side in the face of, you know, being surrounded and all that stuff. Um, so you should figure out who the enzyme bearers are according to, you know, what you know about that. And battle, and of course difficulty otherwise, would be how people are tested. You know, the difficulties of life, the wrongdoings upon us, is how we are tested in the character of who we really are. Saying... 206 reminds us to take account of ourselves. There's this incident that happened during the life of Muhammad that relates to this, where Muhammad told the community to follow somebody and to learn from them. And this person, what he did was he took account of himself before going to sleep. Nothing extraordinary, just when he went to bed, he thought, what could I have done? What could I have not done? What could have I have done better? Something to that effect. I'm not entirely quoting there. Um, and if we neglect that, then that can lead to suffering. And suffering, of course, is regular, just regular difficulty. But it can lead to regular difficulty that's beyond, you know, issues of judgment, um, and saying 207 reminds us that if this lower world has turned away from us, sometimes the worldly is going to turn towards us too. And the following verse was part of the sermon, well, part of the saying. 
And so that example has been shown in different ways, you know, because this is in circle kasas. And, you know, we hear of the narrations of previous nations. And sometimes God favors people by having them rise to power. Even though they were, you know, a lowly position. And saying 208... is that we should have regard of God in such a way that we're about to be taken from this worldly life. So let's get ready to struggle to our utmost and act with haste regarding our goal of an afterlife that starts with a more willing return and by I, I, I guess people are going to maybe associate something with that but, but you know what I mean we're going to return to God so let's not fight that 